center of gravity some regular objects so we have to remember this also that what is the regular object and where its center of gravity is so first we have circular ring is having center of gravity is at its center circular disc also having center of gravity at center next is important triangular lamina triangular lamina having center of gravity at the point of intersection of their medians okay so we have to take their three medium what is a median so this base is having some midpoint so from midpoint to vertex whatever the line we are getting that is called median so intersection of this median we got a point that is called a center of gravity next we have a rectangular or four sided figure quadrilateral it is a intersection of their diagonals next we have parallelogram again four sides intersection of their diagonals last we have a solid or hollow cylinder solid or hollow cylinder we have a axis the midpoint of the axis so for example this is a cylinder okay so this cylinder is having some axis okay symmetric axis so the midpoint of this symmetric axis we got a center of gravity of a solid or hollow cylinder next we have hollow cone for the hollow cone we have two things apex or base so from the base we got a center of gravity for a hollow cone that is h by 3 and from the base for the solid cone we have h by 4 it means that from the apex we also have to remember um, subtracting it from h we got from the apex center of gravity is 2h by 3 and here we got the center of gravity from the apex is 3h by 4 and last we have a sphere sphere is also having either it is a solid sphere or a hollow sphere we got the center of gravity at the center of the body so there here are some the center of gravity of some regular objects